It's spring, although you cannot see that on the weather today. However, it's time to go to the corn car wash. Let's go. So, as we all can see that uh, Chris is not uh, really uh, tidying up the new van. So of course, uh, I can fix it again. So Jordi, are you looking forward today? Yes, it's going to be a very nice day. It's like a dream come true. Like a dream come true. Every Monday is like a dream come true. <laughs> and especially today when we go to the corn car wash. Yeah. It's like going to Disney World. I didn't sleep all weekend long. <laughs> <laughs> Hello neighbor. Is that like the Schlager Hits 538? No, unfortunately not. This is like the more like the top 40, 50 uh, channel. Shine, we gonna celebrate. Oh yeah. Oh, we gonna celebrate. One more time. Very clean wash box, Monday. Yeah, really looks like a dream. Oh, Jordi, where are you? Oh, there. And so, let's check out the, the van up front and get my coins out of the pockets. Money, money, money. Oh, so funny. It's like 11 euros. Wow. Wow, that's like, like, this is like feeling rich. Check out how the van actually is. Wheels are dirty. Here we see some dirt. Here somebody, I don't know, touched it without any reason. We see also a lot of scratches. So Matisse, when can we bring the van? Windscreen is dirty, wiper bay is dirty, bonnet is very dirty, insects all over the place. So uh, mirrors are dirty. Let's do a good wash and let's see how it is in here. This is actually quite all right. However, I do see some dirt also here on the lower parts of the door. I brought two buckets. Get my towels out. This one I also don't need yet. How does this work? Throw in money. It looks like my wife. <laughs> Throw in money. <laughs> so first we're gonna rinse because I want some uh, water in my buckets. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, put my feet on top of the bucket to fill it half with water. Okay, we're gonna go do the other one. This is gonna be my rinsing bucket. But first I'm gonna do the wheels. This with these hoses really sucks, by the way. So I just filled my bucket with uh, side washing gloss soap and the other one only with water. So before I'm gonna start, I'm gonna spray in some decon on the wheels because we can see there's a lot of brake dust on the wheels. Also, I'm gonna try to reach the wheel bed, the rim on the inside. So, front wheel. Appetite. Here we go. Last one to loosen that brake dust from the wheel surface. Let it sit for approximately one minute, so 60 seconds. Then it will turn into purple or to red. We will see this starting here slowly. So before I'm gonna agitate the wheel surface, I'm gonna spray in some all clean here on the hard to reach places. And in this case, we see here on the front bumper, a lot of insects. So I'll pre-soak this one with some citrus cleaning and the greasing power. So we're gonna let that sit there for a minute. That helps us to wash safer. As we can see here, the decon is starting to work. You can see it's starting to get red and it's starting to loosen all the brake dust from the surface. So there are more ways that lead to Rome. I really like to work with these rim pacas. I can actually use the bigger one maybe because bigger is better. So I can reach the end of the wheel bed easily. Try also to reach it uh, behind the spokes. So if you look at your wheel surface diagonally, di man, this is difficult, diagonally, diagonal, whatever. Diagonal. So it's really clean as well. Not only if you look at it from the front, 
but also from the side. So front side, I'm gonna use the flagged tip brush. This is the softest one we have. And I love this brush for a long time. Makes cleaning wheels super, super, super fast. Easy, because the bristles are so soft, you can easily touch it pretty much everywhere where you wanna. So, and the lock nuts as well. So, <clears throat> here we go. And don't forget to clean those tires because then later our VRP dressing will adhere better. There we go. You can see it already getting that brown kind of debris, which is a good sign now that it's loosening from the rubber surface. So we will rinse it off in the next few minutes. And then we're gonna later apply some dressing. Oh, look at this wheel. <laughs> look at this wheel, baby. Real cars, real results, realchemicalguys.eu. Getting that all clean on there. I always exchange, by the way, the standard sprays with the gray ones because they spray much nicer and you can also uh, adjust the stream. So if you want a fine mist or a hard jet stream, you can just control it by twisting the nozzle. Let's go left. Because with the smaller Rimpaka wheel brush, I can better go behind that brake caliper. So, and I'll go to the big one again. <laughs> yeah, so Jordi's trying to get the topic on again about my uh, right arm. That it's much more uh, musculated than my left arm. Which is true, by the way. The cool thing I think from these Rimpaka brushes is, so it's bended. Now I can really good, do it good here on the left side. So I'm gonna twist it around to the right side and I can really come good behind that spoke. So the design is super, super good thought through, which makes wheel cleaning just better. And the more clean it is, the more happy I'm, I am. So I'm gonna twist it again. Again, here we go. This works really, really, really well. Wipe me, baby, one more time. Long time ago, this was a hit from Britney Spears. Wipe me, baby, one more time. But she thought it was too uh, gross. So she made it uh, hit me, baby, one more time. So now I'm gonna give Jordi a, Jordi a euro. Do you trust that? Not really. This is two euros, sorry, it's too expensive. Here's one euro. So, please don't spend it all in one time. Spend it wisely. Yeah. So, Jody, since you're still single, this is how treating women looks like. Throwing away, throwing away money. Clean wheels and clean tires for the win. So rinsing away that all clean and all the loosened dirt from the rubber and rinsing away that brake dust from the wheel. And always make sure to rinse properly. You, know? you don't want any cleaner rests being left behind on the wheel surface. It's just ugly. Since I already pre rinsed with the all clean. Up to So since I already pre-rinsed pre it with the all clean to loosen uh, 
bugs and insects. I think the English word is uh, bug squash. So that makes my washing job safer and more efficient. So you could see that I just uh, made my washing bucket already. So I completely pre-rinsed the van now with uh, the high pressure washer here in the coin car wash. So now it's time to uh, give it a good wash. Here we go. Citrus washing gloss is one of our strongest shampoos and foams quite some as we can see. And here we start washing. Learned this by the way from Wipey Wimp, so a professional wiping buddy. Here we go, also the lower part, sometimes check, is it already dirty, still clean, because we probably pre-rinsed it. There we go, now the slide door, gonna slide into action. Don't forget to rinse out your wash mitt in your second bucket. Scrub it clean over the uh, washboard from Gridguard. So you can really see that there is not so much uh, box uh, splatter and box squash anymore due to the pre-cleaning with all clean. You can use all clean uh, diluted 1 to 10 for exterior jobs and 1 to 20 for interior jobs like door panels. So far for washing. So let's rinse down that citrus washing gloss shampoo. Ja, een euro. 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 Kijk eens. Ja, gelijk. Even een eurotje in doen. Orange Utang drying towels, since the van is really, really large. I'm gonna fold it as a fourfold. I'm gonna start at the A pillar. Then I'm gonna go through the back side, down low. Here we go. Front side. So, here we go. Let me switch this to a dry section and refold it to dry this part of the window and the bonnet. Well, I can feel my towel is getting kind of soaked. It's done. So I already knew and expected it was going to happen. So this is why I brought my second towel, which on large surfaces like this is a really good choice to use two drying towels.
So since the door is now open, this is a part a lot of people always forget to rinse and to, uh, and to dry. Go down. Let's see. Yeah, that's how much dirt there still is in here. Twist it to a clean side. Also clean those pillars. And dry them as well. Because when not, it looks really, really not so good. So, and that's super. So just done drying the van. Two drying towels, orange utangs. 90 times 60 centimeters. Uh, a large van like this really would need uh, two normal drying towels, or if you would like to choose a woolly mammoth which is the thicker drying towel. And with that, it can do uh, one large fan with only one towel. Now this is uh, dripping like it's hot, which is a cool hashtag, by the way. But Snoop Dogg had the original version, drop it like it's hot. I think he stole it from us. <laughs> That's why. So the van has been washed, wheels are clean inside and outside. The tires are degreased, really good, because now we're gonna apply the VRP dressing for some extra depth and some extra finish. Um, yeah, so hope you liked this video so far. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Let's go to the next shot. So done also drying with the wheels with my purple happy ending towels. Now it's time to get my VRP dressing and make those tires nice. So here's my VRP dressing, which is a water-based dressing. And I'm gonna use it on a workhorse applicator, but I'm gonna use it on the side so I can better spread it out without touching the ground because I don't want any smear that's here on the ground on my applicator. So I'm going to apply a couple of new drops of VRP here. So, spread it out. Make sure not to apply it on the wheel surface, only on the rubber, only on the tire. And because we cleaned it already with all clean, you will see that the durability is much longer than when you don't do this. So the rubber is clean, so all the brake dust is out of the rubber pores. And uh, we rinsed it. And now you may expect from a water-based dressing like this. Ooh, these are two large drops. Durability of easily, let's say, two to four weeks. So let's say one to two washes before the effect will be less. And after that, it's probably gone. And it's time for a fresh layer of vrp dressing or another tire dressing from chemical guys let's say every four weeks which i think is quite acceptable last one and then we're done so here we go spread it out divide it evenly for that dark satin finish that a water-based dressing will give to rubbers and textured plastic parts so what did we all do today we brought a dirty Volkswagen van. As we could have seen, dirty wheels, dirty low parts, dirty front side, a lot of insects there. Then we started with uh, cleaning the wheels with the Decon V4 wheel cleaner and the ironizer. Then we did some all clean on the tires as well to clean and degrease those tires and get that brake dust out of the rubber parts. We also used all clean on the front side. So uh, that helped me wash safer. So bugs and, and splatter was already gone. Then I started washing, two bucket methods, side flushing gloss, you could have seen how good it cleaned. It's one of our strongest shampoos and you could have seen why. Um, it's been in the Camel Guys range for a long time and I will hope it will be there for a long time because it's one of the best shampoos when you are starting to clean thoroughly and want to detail ash from the base up. So everything is really, really clean again. Um, then we rinsed it off. Um, then we dried it with two orange Utang microfiber towels. And then it was time for some tire dressing as we did here with the VRP dressing. And it starts to look very dark and, and set and finished. So this is also the kind of look that I like, not too shiny. Um, and that's pretty much it. A couple of tips for you when you go to the coin car wash. Make sure you bring enough coins. I spend here, let's say, four to five euros, which I think is acceptable. 
Um, I brought my own kit in my own buckets with my own drying towels, my own wash mitts, my own wheel brushes. Generally, you would spend here, let's say, one, one and a half hour on a large car or a van like this or a pickup. Uh, if it's a smaller car like a Golf or a Focus, you could probably be doing a good wash in 30 to 45 minutes. So I hope these tips help you to go to your local coin car wash, bring your own chemical dye supplies and detailing supplies with you. And uh, yeah, drive clean because we all know clean cars drive better and you will enjoy it more. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you got some questions, write it here below. Email us info at chemicalize.eu or chat with us over the website or the WhatsApp function. See you later, guys. Bye bye. So Jordi, uh, do you have some uh, good tips for our uh, detailing sing uh, playlist, sing along playlist? Um, Schlager music. Also, I think yeah. we should also do that the Austrian guy, DJ Utzi. DJ Utzi is a good one. Yeah, and um, but uh, but for let's say like like more modern music, what would you? Uh, Maybe uh, Shakira because she's a very nice voice. Yeah, yeah. Only the voice, you know. Yeah, I really like the voice. Yeah. Really, wow. <laughs> And um, what do we do with some uh, good old Dutch uh, Andreases? Andreases is the basis. That's how it is.